I think God said this is going to be placed upon his heart. And this veil can be removed only by believing in Christ. By what? Believing in Christ. Yes, even today when they read Moses' writings, their hearts are covered with the veil. Man, this is so rich. They do not understand. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is what? Taken away. Taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit. Listen to this. And wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Yes, yes, yes. And then it says, man of God, stand right here for a minute, because I need you to I need to look at you when I when I when I read this. It says, For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. You see that? See, but read that for me. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So, so, so if y'all don't believe it when Isaac Hayes said, I try to see maybe when Barry White said, you might believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of us have had the veil removed. All of us who have had the veil removed, can see and reflect, can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord who is the Spirit makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. The most powerful, powerful thing I've ever read in the Bible. I've not read the whole Bible three times and never saw the power of this passage. My Lord, my Lord. Never saw the power. But when, whenever, some, whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So all of us who have had the veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord who is the Spirit makes us more and more like him as we are changed into his glorious image. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. You, are about you are about to see God, see God. Right, now. right now. Look at your other neighbor who might be better looking. Say, neighbor, neighbor. you are about, you are about to, see to see God. For real, for real, for real, for real. right now. Amen. Amen. So as I hear this this morning, we all started out um, in church. And, 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 most, and, and, and the most astounding thing is that when we started out in church, we were, um, when we started out in church, I'm just, making, I'm just making room for the overflow. When we started out in church, most of us went because mama made us go, a big mama made us go, a grandma made us go, but we really didn't want them. So the bottom line is when when what 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 showed me, the first thing showed me that I was really grown is when I didn't have to go to church. <laughs> See, most of us thought we were grown when we when, when we could go to the club and, 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 and we could drink, but but no, you weren't grown because mama, you went back to mama's house. Mama said, I don't, I don't care if you come on four o'clock in the morning, you going to church. I don't care what you do, you go and touch in the morning. You stand all night, you come home at 7 in the night, church start at 8 o'clock, you go be your good church. Yeah. So you find out, so you have to prove your Godhood by dissing God. My God. And you got stuck. You had to prove your Godhood. Because even though I was grown, grown by age, mama and mother, I don't care. Even when I was in my mama's house, had my own place. I was in Texas. Couldn't lie to mama. Boy, I don't care how much how much them cap was part of them tomorrow night, tonight. You better have your buddy. And, and back then I was so true to mama, Mama Joe. I was scared that she was, you know, you know, she, like like Nisa got them poor babies, they they paranoid. Nisa be way down in, 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 in Boca and they and they sweat you around the corner. 
They switch around. So, so I was way in Tyler, Texas, and my and my auntie said, "I don't care what what you do, boy. You better have your wedding church." So, so, so I, I thought I was grown. I thought I was doing grown folk thing, but the way I had to prove that I was grown, one day I said, "She ain't gonna tell me what to do no more." <laughs> and my place of proving she wasn't gonna tell me what to do was not go to. Church. Am I the only one that been there? No. Am I the only one that got tired of them moments and making them go where they didn't want to go? I don't care what else you did, the one thing you had to do was go to church. And then when but when I went to church and and some things were being given unto me that I didn't realize I was going to need, even though I was there with a defiant spirit. Even though I was there with a defiant spirit, there were some things being given unto me that I didn't know that were going to be beneficial later on. Amen. I was being fed, not knowing how good the grub was. Come on, somebody. That's why we got mystery food for the fundraiser. Amen. But it says the old way, that way it was good, but it, but it was etched in stone. But guess what? The stone was the words of my mother. And it kept me forever without me even realizing it because, because she made me do what I didn't want to do and in doing what I didn't want to do, I learned what I needed to know in order to live where I didn't want to go. Amen. So as we hear this, it says, it says and, and, and even, even when, when, when I was going to church, my face shone. Can I tell y'all my saddest day? My saddest day in the world was not being in bondage. My saddest day was the day I lost my innocence. Amen. My saddest day was when, when I when I found out that the president wasn't the pre the man that I thought he was. Mm. My saddest day was when my father was not the man I. Was. Another sad day was when my mama wasn't all that I. Made her to be. Amen. Another sad day was when my 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 children were all that I made them out to be. So as I'm hearing this deep, I lost my innocence many times. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to take this to a place where y'all can relate. Your innocence once. Now y'all transfer the word innocence with where I'm going. Amen. You 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 lose it many times. If so be. And the thing about it is, men once they lose their innocence, they forget about innocence. And anybody in the, anybody in the neighborhood with me? Huh? Why? Because men have no compassion, so they say. Mm. But a real man is everything but not compassion. <laughs> but a real man is everything but not compassionate. A double, double negative. And I told my teacher Amen. one day I was going to make that work. Yeah. <laughs> and it says, in fact, that first glory was not glorious at all compared to the overwhelming glory of the new way. So, my first innocence was important, but it was it was not as important as my final innocence. You better hear the word of God. Amen. You better hear the word of God. My first innocence was necessary for me to know that there's an innocence that cannot be moved. There have been many. Come here, first lady. Come here. Come here. There have been many innocences in my life. But I messed around and found an innocent that nobody can move. Y'all better hear the word of God. Huh? Because when you are truly innocent, huh? You can't be guilty. When you are truly innocent, you cannot be guilty. And God gave you true innocence when he said sin no longer can kill you. 
So now what I'm coming into the awareness of, I'm coming into the awareness of my final place. Show me, give me that kiss you gave me that night. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. That's real innocence. I'm going to show you something about fake innocence. Now, the old city. I got something going on with the old city. It's just, it's just, it's just church, y'all. It's just church. She's a pretty lady. So I don't know about this. Oh, y'all heard me. I knew it. He always over there killed me on the tank and put some in his spies. Those spies. Those spies. I am just saying. I'm using this as a somebody say, come on. Demo. Um, this is this is this is fake innocence. Fake innocence. Um, say, baby, give me a kiss. Baby, give me a kiss. Oh, okay, Shilla, you 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 look good today, girl. Uh, did you did you enjoy the dinner last night? Now, nah, Sister Leo, will look away. <laughs> Nobody's Sister Leo. Fake innocence. Amen. Faith innocence will not allow me to do whatever I need to do in front of whoever Amen. can expose me. Amen. Have a seat. Well, I hope y'all hearing this. Yeah. My Lord. Fake innocence. Sound like all my children. I, <laughs> it is. It ain't all my children. You got that right. <laughs> in another world, searching for the end of night. All my children in another world searching for the end of the That's right. Because I realized that all the babies end up in general hospital. Young and the restless. Shout that off by But 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 when 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 I get to the place, but when I get to the place. I realize that there's a place better than where I used to be. There's a place that 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 takes me beyond where my mother can see. There is a place that I grew up. Because I say I can do this because my mama will never know. But then God does a transfer. Somebody say transfer. Well, you take money out of one account and you make the other account bigger. Come on, somebody. See, if I take money out of one account, that means that means the other account got more, and the other account I took from, I don't care, that it might have more in it, but it has, but it might, see, y'all get this now, don't miss this. I, the one I transfer from might have more in the account that I'm transferring to, but before the transfer, uh, 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 once I do the transfer, the one that I transfer from has less. Yes. And the one that I'm transferring to has even though the total might not be Same. Hello, somebody. So pay attention. It says, in fact, the first glory was not glorious at all compared with the overwhelming glory of the new way. The first parent was great, but not as great as the parent that put me here. Amen. That Old Testament, my Lord. The transfer. A lot of us don't want to accept the transfer. I need you to understand that you can see God right now. You don't want to let the transfer go. You don't want to transfer from the thinking of the of, see y'all want y'all want to blame it on the world, but you were taught to think by your parents. You were taught to live by your peers. You were taught to live by your friends. But the ones that did you the most good were the ones that hated you. See, I, I needed my haters because as long as I had my haters, I could put my haters up against what my mama said. I could put my haters up against what my dad said. But every now and then, my haters would still beat down the word of God and the word of my mama. And then my haters would beat down the word of my dad. But when I took the transfer, the haters never beat down the word of God. I love my haters. I need my haters. My haters never beat down the word. In the word of God is his will. That's right. That's right. Still talking. In the word of God is his will. And so when I'm operating in the will of my mama or my earthly parents, I'm in their will as long as they can see me doing their will. I don't have the same credence with God. Because God can always see whether or not I'm doing his will. Amen. So the good thing about God be 
being my parent now, then rather, rather than my mom and dad is, my mom and dad might not be in a place to protect me, but God is in all places. Amen. So lives the transfer. He's in all places. He's in all circumstances. And I realized what, what, what made places so important for me, I just found out this week, D, what I am. God said he created the earth. And when he created the earth, he created a place for us, for man. But then when he created man, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what did he do? He created woman. He created... <laughs> 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 oh, Come on now, missionary. I'm about to stop. <laughs> but when he created man and woman... That's what he did. Amen. Watch this. He created a place for himself. <laughs> he created a, he created earth for us and he created us out of the earth for him. So now I realize how important places are. I am a place created for God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. Thank you. I am a place, sister, I'm sorry. I'm a place created for God to show you God. This earth was, don't, don't, I don't want to lose you now. This earth was created. What is this earth without man? It's empty. Amen. But when, when the earth yields what it's supposed to yield, we see what came out of the earth, and that is us. So now, when, when, when we were created from God, so now, what are we supposed to, the earth displays us. What are we supposed to display? God. Because we're a place created for, and the earth was a place created for, us. Were you with me? So now my whole thing is I am a place beyond what my mom made me, beyond what my daddy made me, beyond what my friends made me, but I'm, I'm more what drives me closer to wanting God and wanting to see God is when I don't get in my way. You don't believe it? Huh? Husbands that are not men, they marry gods. God says, I put it that way. Oh God, you're says your goddess, you're so beautiful, you're a goddess. But when I can't have my way with this goddess, I get another goddess. Come on. Hey. Hello. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't want to hear the truth this morning, but it's all right. Y'all oh. y'all keep laughing. Y'all laugh a few minutes ago. Laugh now. Amen. 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 Well. And so what we got to hear is <laughs> when I take money out of a bank account with money in it and I transfer it to another bank account, watch this now, I'm talking about in the natural. Amen. Is this bank account that I took money out of, if I didn't take it all out, is it is it empty? No. So when, why would he transfer you for another God? Why do you act like you empty? Unless you ain't got nothing in you to begin with. Amen. My God, my God. You cannot let nobody make withdrawals from you and determine that you are empty. That's right. Yes. Yes. As a pastor, I cannot let people make withdrawals from me and make me determine that I am empty. Amen. As a husband. Amen. What is the most guaranteed place? The will of God. What is the most guaranteed place that I got something in my spirit? I got all these preachers and I can't, I can't help but preach. I love y'all. I preach this thing. Y'all have been preaching. What is the most guaranteed place that I always got something even when I don't work for? Mm. Huh? Huh? Really? I heard people tell me they love me with the love of God and won't give me nothing. Amen. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hello? And want more. What is the most guaranteed place? The get most guaranteed place. I love that jacket. I tell you that every time, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it on. Now, if I take it off, take it off, take it off. You see, see what I'm No, no, I got, I got a spot on my shirt. 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 I got a spot on I got ink on this shirt now, and I messed around and grabbed the wrong shirt. So I said to me, this button is jacket off. But I'm gonna try the jacket on today. The most guaranteed place. The most guaranteed place. It's how you be talking all of a sudden go, because it ain't me. That was me talking, but you can't leave. The spirit ain't going to leave you if you're really there. 
That's right. The most guaranteed place is the place is, is when I when I place myself in a place yeah. of the title that matters. A child is always going to be taken care of. A child that you will never worry about being empty because it's not his or her responsibility. That's right. When I'm a man and I want to live without God, mm -hmm. I will end up empty. When I'm a woman and I want to live without God, I will end up empty. But when I remain a child, I will always have. Child when I remain a child, I will always be taken care of. So my, my, my most guaranteed place of fulfillment is being a child of God. Of God. It guarantees that I'm going to be taken care of. And then you know the thing about it. I understand that God takes care of me. How many people will say, Mama, I'm hungry. And then when she cook, don't eat. You ain't really hungry. How many people say I'm hurting, I'm lost, I don't know what to do. And then here God got a buffet right at the church and you don't go eat. So you really think you know what to Hello somebody. Am I alright? Amen. I need to stay with me here and say, so now we have a new way. And what this new way does, it gives us confidence beyond the confidence that we can give ourselves and and, and, and our and our and our old system of parenthood can give us. Our old system of parenthood is the, the parenthood of our mothers and fathers in the natural. And the new system is parenthood of God in the spirit. Hello, somebody. Amen. He said, but when I understand that God created not only me, but he created my mama and daddy. And what, what good knowledge they had, they got from him. He said, you know what? Now I can have more because I can have theirs and his. Yeah, come on, come on. I can have theirs and his. Hello, somebody. So it says, so now I can walk boldly. We are not like Moses. Moses put a veil over his face. See, in other words, in other words, Moses professed to be what he was. Moses professed to be what he was. Y'all hear me? Moses professed to be what he was. But, but guess what? Huh? He was ashamed of it. Come on now, Bishop. Oh, man. Oh, come on. You better go ahead. I'm a child of God, but I'm walking around with shame. I'm a child of God, I want the benefits, but shame won't let me go to church. I'm a child of God, but I'm going to cover up the veil. God said, you know what? You ain't got to cover it up. He said, you keep living without me, and, 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 and the light going to fade anyway. Amen. He said, you ain't got to cover it up. It's going to fade anyway. Amen. What gave me light was the presence of God. What's going to keep me illuminated is the presence of God. Yes, yes, yes. When I was lost, I stepped into the light and I said, Jesus, save me. If I could have just stayed in that moment of my beat down, I would have been all right. Amen. So what God has to do with some of us, he has to keep beating you down so you can be all right. Yeah, yeah. Because as soon as he pick you up and put you on the mountaintop, you, want, you don't want to visit and learn. You want to get there and stay. God said, I only brought you to the mountain to have a conversation with you to go back down and help the sister. I only brought you up here to have a conversation with you to go back down and help the brother. But you don't want to go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Back. And your light only begins to fade away. Because God says, baby, I came from somewhere to come down to you. And now, if you ain't going down to down to where I need you to go, I will bring the down up to you, and the down will leave you right where you are, on a mountaintop, and they'll be headed to heaven. Yeah. So don't get caught up in your mountaintop experience. Because God says, I came down to inform you what to do for Shabri. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to if you don't want to go nowhere, I'm God. I'll make the mountaintop a valley. Your mountain top of valley. You only brought you up here, David. To, when David when, when, I'm sorry, Moses, when Moses went up to the mountain top, what did he have to do? Go back down to the people. When you come to the church, you are on the mountain top. It is imperative that you learn and to see God and hear from 
God, so you'll know what to tell the people that you're going to meet in the valley during the week. Come on now, come on. But you ain't worried about what you're going to tell the people. You just want, you just want to say, I went to church. Yeah. 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 So I'm just in my moment and just want to say, I went to church. It's all right if I don't go to church. Because I'm not there, like, like, like the bishop said, like that. I'm not there for purpose. Amen. Amen. I'm truly not there to see God. And I'm truly there to see God. I went, I went to see God in church, and God gave me something to give to somebody who can't. See him. I went to church to see God for you. Who cannot see him. And if you can't see him, you should be here. Come here to see God. For those that you're going to encounter, they can't see him. My God, my God. They don't come because they want to be want to know what's going on. But he says, even when you have the glory of God on you for a season, Preaching ain't easy. Come on, Bishop. I'm going to tell you, it's harder going back down than it is coming up. Amen. All the time. <laughs> Somebody recently preached a sermon in this church and they had to go back down and they had a hard time going back down. But even when, he, let me tell you something. Chico the Virgo always says something before he leaves the radio. Anybody know what he says? <laughs> me and Chico went to school together. She always says, prayer what? Change. Change this thing. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. Prayer without love don't mean nothing. Come on, Amen. Right there. Without love. No love. You pray me all day but not love me, it don't mean nothing. Yeah, yeah. Change. Change. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, That's right. So what really, what really changes things is your love to pray for me. That's right. That's right. That's, right. That's, That's right. what it is. That's what it is. So what the changes is not the prayer, it's the love that, it, that, 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 that says, you know what, I have faith in him, even though I should not love him, I love him through faith given unto me by God. Something's got to change. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry. That's right. If I got love involved, something's going to change. Right. Somebody. If I got love involved, something's going to change. I need you to stay with me right now. But the people mind they get up and they get caught up in their temporary glory of preaching. They get caught up in their temporary glory of their title. They get caught up in their temporary glory of being excited about things that they can see rather than seeking the thing they cannot see. That's right. They get excited about seeking the things they can see. Come on, doctor. Yes, sir. Rather than seeking the things they cannot see. You better talk to him. But the people minds are hard to this day. You better preach Whenever they sit up and they look at life as it used to be. Uh -huh. I, I remember when I was caught up in my members only jackets. And my members only days were so good. Don't worry about it, man of God. I told a man this morning, he said, why don't you get the, uh, uh, you at the Marriott, why don't you get the people to, to carry your jacket down, to carry your, your luggage down. I said, man, I'm telling you I said, I, I said, every time I go to church, I got people always telling me, feel good to do something for myself. Amen. He said, I admire your spirit. But what I'm trying to say to you is, what I'm trying to say to you is, it says, be bold. Be bold. Don't, don't let your mind be hardened. He said, the same veil covers their mind. There's a veil over my mind. There's literally a veil over my mind. See, 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 see. I, I saw love because somebody said, don't fall. Don't fall, amen. I saw love because at least one, I only if, 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 if I didn't hear don't fall, I would All I needed was one voice. I would hear the word of God. Amen. Because that one voice gave me safety because it operated out of the spirit of love which comes from God. So as I tell you this, I, I'm up through with this. He said, he, 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 said, he, 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 said, he said, even when I wore my members only jacket, I'm gonna tell you something. When I put my members on the when I put that members on the jacket, huh? Everything went good. When I put that members on the jacket on back in the 80s, I knew first later what gonna say nobody. Nice. So so I kept my members on the jacket in, in the closet just, just in case. But one time one day I went to put the members on the jacket and I couldn't, you know, I, I found something out. It only worked when it was when it was covering what wasn't good. 
One day, the members only jacket got too little. <laughs> and they couldn't cover what wasn't good. And, and, the, and, and what she used to say, yes, she started saying, Get away from your mountaintop experiences of your yesteryear, yesterday, and, and this is where the hardest part, your yesterday moment. Yeah. I can drop my yesteryear. I can drop my yesterday, but the devil will beat me up if I do something wrong right now, and I cannot instantly drop my yesterday moment. That's right, that's right. Mm, that'll make you scratch your head for real, for real. Hello, somebody. <laughs> but, as, but as I tell you this, don't worry. And this veil can be removed. Oh, my God. This veil can be removed. And for the veil to be removed, it takes me believing in something I cannot see. But I know it's there. Amen. Jesus. I cannot see perfect health with the way that I live, but I know perfect health is there. It's there. Yeah. It is. It's there. I, 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 cannot, I cannot believe that she has the perfect love for me because I don't always go where she goes, but I know that the perfect love is yeah. Wow, that's good. Amen. That's good, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I need you to hear this. When you know what is there when you can't see it, mm -hmm. then and only then does worry go away. Woo! Then, Come on now. Come on, like then and only then does worry go away. You know it's there. Talk. I had to walk in the hospital one night and take him there for Sister Chi Chi because she was scared half to death. And once you get scared half to death, you'll be scared into death. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. But I walked in and she had her hair all over her head. She said, Bitch, I didn't want you to see me like this. She said, Deja, what you do? What Deja? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't about me coming, it was about, I didn't want nobody to see me like this. Yeah. I, when you were really down and out, you don't care how you look at some red and rain, right. you're there That's to right. where you are. Right. Hello, somebody. So I kept, she, she said, she don't want you to come. I said, don't worry, but I got to come because I got to bring somebody there. Yeah. And it was not me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She was through. Mm -hmm. She was gone. Mm -hmm. She was out of here. Mm -hmm. But God said, take me to her. Mercy. Mercy. Come on. She ain't gonna want to see you, but take me to her. She'll be dancing at your anniversary. That's right. He said, "Take me to her." She ain't gonna want to see you, and, and you take me to her. She'll be helping them clean up at your anniversary. That's right. See, you got to you got to be able to see what's there when it's not there, so you can believe it with all your heart. And for God to make you believe it with all your heart, He got to show you Him when you don't expect Him to be where you are. Preach what you don't believe. No. Come on, doctor. I don't have to hoop and holler because I believe everything I preach. Show somebody. Yes, sir. So when I when I when I when I'm bringing God there, it's not because I'm hoping He's gonna be there. I know He's gonna be there because I was in the dungeon and guess what? He was there. I was in prison and He was there. I was in jail and He was there. I was in the worst place you'd ever think I would be, and He was there. Only when you know that he's been where you did not expect him can you take him where people don't believe he's going to come. Come on, God. Yes, only sir. when. Yes, sir. Only when you believe that he did all this for Christ, he's doing it for you too. Woo. And for us to see how much he loved Christ, for us to see how much he loved Christ. We got to get a portal we put outside. The missionary arm say, "This is you hit me at the right moment, right now. Somebody at the back door, ain't you? Oh, they got that on lock, boy. Arm say, "The assistant got an assistant, ain't that smart?" <laughs> but what I need you to understand, there, you cannot give what you don't believe, and you cannot see what you don't believe. Amen. You cannot give what you don't believe. And you cannot believe what you don't see, is what I want to say. And I truly know 
not because of my mountaintop experiences, but because of my valley experiences. I serve a God that is always there. That's why I can bring you beyond death, because when death comes, you know what? God didn't let Jesus die because he was there. He was there. Even when he turned his back on Jesus and Jesus said, Father, why have you forsaken me? He was yet. Yeah. You better hear the word of God. So you're going to feel like he ain't, he, he's forsaken. You're going to feel like he's, he's left you out. You're going to feel like, why well, they're not going through what I'm going through. But don't worry. They're not, they're not being reassured that he is. But you are. You're going through what you're going through, Sister Chi Chi. So you'll be able to take God to, ple to people who don't believe that he'll be there in their time of need. Amen. We all won't. Now, as I, as I close, I want you to hear this. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Dig, you hear this, Dick and Sherman? Was any, when anybody turned to the Lord, and watch this, when do you, when do you turn to the Lord the most? When can I guarantee that you're going you're gonna to come to church when you're in trouble? Yep, that's right. But I'm going to tell you something. If you're in this world, you need to be in the church every chance you get because you're always in trouble because this Satan is looming. Hello, somebody. He's, he's lurking to and fro. You're always in trouble. Sometimes when you're in trouble and you know it, you're not in trouble. But when, when, when trouble really, you're really in trouble when you're thinking, I'm not in trouble. Amen. Oh, God. That's what he says. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, so God allows situations to direct us, turn us to him. Because he's, he's in the process of removing the veil. For the Lord is the spirit. For the Lord is the spirit and wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is I know I want y'all to hear that. Because I'm man, I got to get a baby somebody because you fit to work with me. I'm trying to hear this. For wherever the, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. He didn't say in good places only. He didn't say in church only. He didn't say in doing the right things only. He said wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So now I cannot doubt if God is with me ever for me to be free. Uh -huh. I'm like, Lord, why do you, why do you, why, why can't I just be a preacher like everybody else and look good and done a kind of like God would say, watch it. He said, because they don't know how to bring me there. Oh, Amen. I'm preparing you not to bring the Cadillac and the Mercedes and the Bentley. I'm preparing you to bring God. Amen. I'm preparing you to bring me you're going to be my transportation. You're not going to want to be puffed up and be transported. Come on, somebody. Amen. So all of us, all of us, get a mic, man of God. Get a mic. I feel the Holy Spirit working in you today. Get a mic. Stand right there. Come on up here. Come on up here. You're a minister. Come on up here. Yeah. Take that big step. See, see, see. Let me show you something, man of God. Let me show you this. Do that. Do that. Make me call. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's so crazy. <laughs> so, all of us who have had the veil removed can reflect, reflect the glory of the Lord. Listen, we're going to come from the man of God. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more. And more like him as we change into his glorious image. How do I change into the image of God? I lead willfully, lead the way I think. Willfully, don't see the things the way I used to. As long as I'm seeing things the way I used to see them and thinking the way I, I, I used to think, I still have the veil over me. And, and what is the purpose of the veil? To keep me from seeing God. It's a shame when you're blaming the devil and you're the one that's keeping you from seeing God yourself. It's a shame. The purpose of the veil is not for you not to see the 
glory of God, he was hoodwinked. I'm, I'm, I'm looking like God, so I don't want nobody to see me. Dummy! Uh -huh. Same conviction to stop looking at God! Yes. Man of God, read that right there and preach on it for me. That last 7, 16 and 17. Read that right there and preach for me. Then preach on it. Just, just let the Holy Spirit yeah. read and use you, man of God. I felt, I felt it when you were. Then, then, then read that right there. Read that right there. Then, Flow with it, man of God. Let the Spirit take you there. That's all right. Amen. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, Hallelujah. My God. The veil is taken away. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes, the veil. Come on. For the Lord is the Spirit. The Spirit. And whenever the Spirit, wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, yes. there is freedom. Yes. Freedom. Yes. Freedom. Amen. My God. No longer saints. Are we depending on the things of the old? Come on. Yes, come on. No longer are we depending on the traditions of men because what happens is we depend on the traditions and what everybody else saw. This is what, what God did. And the Lord, how the Lord uses, how the Lord uses Moses. And that's the way that it, it, it corresponds to this dispensation. But the spirit of the living God is saying that's what it did back then for those that dispensation. That's what it did for those people in that year. But in this new dispensation, you cannot compare the old with what I'm doing now. Because what I'm doing now, they have not been through and it was not taught the spirit of the Lord. So what God is saying, the very thing that I'm doing in this church, you cannot compare to the things that was in the old. So what he's doing is he's getting rid of everything of the old. Let me tell you what I mean by that. He's purifying everything that you thought you knew about church. He's taking away everything that you thought you understood about church. Yes, God. He's taking away everything that everybody else taught you. Every other preacher taught you. Because what he's saying is the thing that I pour out unto you, this kind of oil that I pour out to you, this kind of my kind of anointing I'm pouring out to you, man can't get the glory this year. Y'all ain't saying nothing. People can't get the glory this year. So the very thing I'm doing I'm going to show you a man that that's why it's no longer the veil that's covered over Bishop. No, 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 no. That was Moses. It's no longer the, the veil that's covered over him. But I'm going to show you how I use my spirit this year. I'm going to show you how my spirit is going to take you places that eyes have not seen. I'm going to show you when my spirit is upon him. He said, when the spirit of the Lord is upon him to preach the gospel to the good news, I come to set the captain free. I come to set somebody out when my spirit is upon you for real. My spirit sets you free. What the spirit of the Lord is, I come to set the captain free. Everybody want to flow 
flow with the title, but nobody wants to work out the purpose. Amen. So instead of instead of God working it out for me, yeah. huh? I'm working, I'm working, I'm working in it for him. Amen. Instead of God working it out for me, yeah. I'm gonna go into the na into the captive neighborhood for him. That's good. That's good. Are y'all crazy? Sit down for a minute, man. I, I'm, 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 I'm going to take y'all somewhere. I realize why Jesus couldn't say nothing. God, God shut up all his carnality. When God takes you to a carnal place, he shuts up your carnality when, he's, when you're working for him. Because your carnality is only going to challenge somebody else's carnality and it's going to provoke death from somewhere. But when carnality is up against the spirit, the spirit will provoke life. Yeah. That's why Jesus couldn't talk. Oh, Jesus got beside himself one minute. He was about to let him know. He said, y'all ain't doing nothing to me. That I, I'm, not, I'm just obeying God. Don't get beside yourself. He was about to step out there in that carnality. And, and then he said, no. And then he said, God. And brought himself back. Uh -huh. Stay here. When God sends you sends purpose, he don't send you looking like church. Oh, that's Amen. good. That's good. That's good. When he sent purpose, he don't send you. He sent a king, but he didn't come looking like a king. A king. He didn't come looking like a king. Amen. Because he came looking like a king, he'd have had to fight the wars like everybody else. But no, he fought in the realm of the spirit. Amen. When God says you're going to conquer, you when, when the Israelites, he told him, think about this. He told the Israelites, he said, I'm going to give you the Hevites, the, the Jebusites, the Parasites, and the, and, and, and the, the, the Rochasites, and the Anasites, the Chessites. And, in other words, he told them that when I chose you, I prepared you to come, conquer them. When I made you a pastor, everything that was in your path, you are going to conquer Amen. Do y'all know how Moses and David left the battlefield? And then we can build this church. Anybody know? Anybody know how David left the battlefield? Anybody know how Moses left the battlefield? Those that he was leading prop Moses up, prop David up. And said, now you are too far, you are too valuable to die in battle. Mm, mm. When y'all gonna prop Bishop up? And say he's too valuable. Amen. No, because I might have to suffer in his stead. That's the problem. That's the problem. My God. My God. I might die doing what protecting the way he protected. But don't you know if you prop up what is holy, can't nothing happen to you because you're going to be just like the one you propped up? Don't you know that? Joab fought with David. Every battle David was in, Joab was in. And watch this. Joab never lost his life till he crossed the seed of David. When David's son became king, Solomon, he said, now you know you have to get rid of your brother. And Joy, the general of David's army. Because he didn't prop up. He stopped propping up David when he wouldn't prop up the seed of David. My seed. My seed. Every person in this church is the seed of Bishop Maurice Robinson. Amen. Let me give you confidence. Take God with you. Everywhere you go. Because it seemed like when I came to this doggone church, all hell broke loose. Anybody ever felt that way? Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? He had to let you go to the deepest depths of hell to show you that you have the spirit of Bishop Maurice Robinson, who had the spirit of Jesus named after the church, that hell will spit you out because you got too much God in you. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hell will spit you out. You know how many times they, they want to kill me on them streets? 
But hell said, if you kill him, I gotta bring him him. No, he will dis he disrupt the earth. I'm not gonna let him disrupt my, my heavenly hell. Hell will spit you out rather than invite you in if God is with you. So everywhere you go, you take him there, which says, I'm free. And I want you to, I want you to, I want you to do this. So everybody stand up. And I want you to write it on your chest. And I want you to, I want you to say, I am. All right, now I want you to write. And now, now make an I, capital I. Make an N. Make a V. Make an I. Make an S. Make a B. Make an L. Now say what you are. I am invincible. I said Vincent, I didn't do the end. Well, either way, I'm an accountant, not, a, not an English major. <laughs> I am in, so let's just say it. I am invincible. I am, say it like this. I am godly invincible. One more time. I am godly invincible. Now, now look at your neighbor and say, how do you know? How do you know? Now look at, and, and tell your neighbor and say, because I see God right now. Because I see God right now. That's right. Because I see God right now. And like the man of God says, forget about the way it used to look. Forget about the way you used to do it. You'll never be able to fit that member's only jacket no more. <laughs> you wear 38 in the waist now, and you used to wear 32. Hello, somebody. Oh, yeah, my brother looking up in the heavens. You'll be here soon. You'll be here soon. That's what comes with 60. And the 38 comes with 60. <laughs> so I'm not worried about the 38. I thank God for the 60. Hello, somebody. One more time. Say, I am, I am godly, godly invincible, invincible because, I see God because I see God right now. Right now. Wow. Amen. Wow. And, 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 what, and what did he say? If only you believe what you just said. Amen. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Amen. Because when you go into the purpose for God, he takes you out of carnality and puts you into spirituality. Amen. Because carnality challenges carnality. And we have provocation. Yes. When spirituality comes in and overcomes carnality, we have regeneration. Come on, somebody. Amen. So we're not looking to provoke. We're looking to regenerate. With invisibility, that God gave us to go and say and do whatever he told us to go say and do. Y'all receive this? Yes, Anybody blessed today? Yes. If you're blessed, if you're blessed, the pulpit is yours, the altar is yours. If you're blessed this morning by this word and you know, and you know that you're invincible and you want to walk in the assurance of this invincibility, come to the altar right now. If you walk in the assurance of this invincibility,